Hello, everybody. I have an important announcement that I haven't done yet. Hold up. Let's check. I have an important announcement today that I got addicted to that I just got a couple days ago. I think I got addicted to is Pokemon Go. Yes, they are all are shocked because because people are like not playing it anymore because it's not popular because people get hurt and stuff. But it's fun. I just got some really nice stuff to show of my awesome Pokemon. I found like around nine tails like just yesterday, and a while back when I had Pokemon Go for like a long time, I had like a Espeon, a wild Venusaur that I caught, and some others too. But all that's going to change when I show you my Pokemon today. The first one is my Executor. It's probably one of my strongest ones. I'm trying to let the camera focus. Okay, this is my Executor. The attacks a bit bad, but they're still good. It's CP is 1,460, and it's actually really good. So, now I'm going to show you my nine tails that I got. CP 838, beautiful, and these are its attacks, not half bad. The next one is my Espeon, which is actually not that bad. I actually got this yesterday. Its CP is 860. Its attacks are not bad. They're really good. And I'm working on getting a Electrion soon, but that won't happen yet. I got a Rhydon, which I named Mike, because that's, that's my grandpa's name. Cause that's my grandpa's name and stuff, so I just named my ride on Mike. CP not even half bad, and no surf and stuff. But right here I have Colby, which is my math teacher from a while back, and this actually represents him, cause he, cause Colby is actually very strong and powerful, same as Tauros. Its attacks are pretty bad. But I treated my my grandpa my 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 lower my lower CP Turos for this one, and it's actually not that bad. I have some other stuff here. I have an Ivysaur. Here you can see Sparky. Its stuff and stats are not even half bad, and it's my buddy right now, so I could get more candy. I also have some, I also have a team, but that's not the full team yet, because I have to switch out my Pokemon half the time. Okay, got it. So I got the butter team on stats right here. And now let's go to my eggs. These are my eggs I'm incubating. I have some nice eggs to hatch along to go and stuff. Yeah. I just got addicted to this a while back. And I also found a wheezing out in the wild. I also found a ditto ghastly bailey found wild uh, onyx that I hatched. A special Pikachu. It's so cute and adorable. Me and my grandma love the special Pikachu because it looks very cute. I also have some magic cards so I can get a Gyarados. I also found a Whammer. No. Spell attack.
Mm. Check out my butt. I also have a Jigglypuff. puff. I have to pee. <laughs> and guess who has their hands in the air and they just don't care? This guy. <laughs> yeah, that might be it for today's video. I just wanted to share the news about Pokemon Go, and guys, Pokemon Go is not dead. It's still alive. It's still alive, everybody. Don't be sad or mad, whatever you are. Oh, oh, Poochyana. I don't have a Poochyana, do I? No. Okay. No, Flynn. I about to get this Pidgeotto. One. Two. No. I did a great throw and one. Two. Three. Got him. Pidgeotto, mine. I'm also on level 14. This is me. Oh, wrong button. This is me and my Eevee. I also have a friend, which is my grandpa, because it plays Pokemon Go too. And if you guys want to friend me in Pokemon Go, it's super easy. Here's my friend code. Pause for more time because I have to go soon. And that might be it for the for today's video. That's all I just wanted to say and stuff. Oh and also on Fortnite I got a new pickaxe. Pretty cool. And a new emote. It's really cool. And that's it. See you later. Bye.